Hi guys, welcome to today's video and today we're going to be talking about cheap trap cameras. So you can get trap cameras on Amazon for £30, this one was £35 and you kind of look at them and think are they actually any good? So what I did is I bought this one here, this is the uh, Discord Trail Camera HC-808, I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. This is what I ended up buying, it's a um, spec wise looks pretty good, it's claims to shoot in a uh, 2.7k um, which probably don't believe a 35 pound but if it shoots well enough just to kind of give you an idea of an animal's habits and a way you can see them during the day or time stuff so you can be outside with your proper camera in the future to catch certain things like in our garden we have woodpeckers green and um, red breasted ones so it'd be good for me to be able to almost have this in a place where I know they go and see where what sort of times and see if there's a pattern to when they arrive and then I could set up an actual hide ready to capture those um, woodpeckers with my proper camera and everything like that. So let's get this unboxed um, and then we'll look at some footage of what we've got and have a chat to see if it's worth it for the £35 that it is. So guys, let's get into uh, this unboxing here. So this is the Trailcam HC808, as I've said. It has some wild um, sort of size of what it can do. So let's say it thinks its um, record is 2.7K, uh, which is absolutely mental. It's only 20 FPS at that, but it's just not going to happen at all. Um, but it takes a micro SD card, which it does come with as well. It's 32 year card, so you've got a little bit there. It's got a night vision range of 20 meters. It's trigger time 0 0.03 seconds. So overall, the spec wise does sound pretty good, but is it really as good? We'll find that out later on. But in the box you open up, you get your instruction manual. Super, super easy one to follow. Definitely, um, definitely worth a read. Nice big pictures, really simple steps, and it is honestly a really, really easy camera to use. And there is one switch to turn it on, there's a menu system which is really really easy to follow so definitely open this manual up have a quick read just so you know what it's capable of doing other than that in going further into here we've got the camera itself obviously then we've got a few accessories that do come with it as well you've got your strap that you can strap it to a tree trunk or anything like that which very useful indeed you've got a cable to plug it in to get off all the information if you don't want to take the card out you have a metal base and adapters and stuff like that you can actually physically mount it hard mount it somewhere if you want to and you can plug it into the mains then to charge rather than using the batteries that it takes um, so there's a nice few good accessories there which is really cool to see considering how cheap this is as a um, trap cam but the main thing you want to look at obviously is the camera itself so we'll get that out now and have a look at it first impressions it does feel cheap it's made out of plastic um, it is very light before you put the batteries in there, but other than that, it does seem like it's got a nice seal to it, so um, it should be nice and waterproof. It is waterproof rated, um, up to IP65, which is really good. You've got to say, it's almost like an old school um, remote for your sound system or something on there, but super easy to kind of like pull the card out to hit and down the bottom there, say so it comes with this 32 gig card straight out of the box as well, which is really nice. You've got all your mounting points on the back, so you've got one underneath there to screw into and everything like that. And your batteries are contained inside this little um, compartment, which is, when you first try and get into it, is actually really quite hard. You need something like a flathead screwdriver or or something just to almost pry it open slightly. So I've got my knife, my trusty, my knife is not the correct tool to use to open this up. It's all I had to hand that would allow me to get into that kind of gap. And then as you see, it can run on four double A's but you ideally need eight to get the full battery life out of it. I'd recommend picking up some rechargeable double A's and a charger and then going from there with it. So that's the unboxing, let's look at some of the footage. So guys, here's some of the footages that we've got here. We're gonna put on a bit of a loop because there's only three that I've got ready to work with here. But you can see all the information you get from these is actually quite large. You set the time and date uh, when you physically set up the um, camera in the mode sections. You get your temperature, you get your time of day, you get if it's day or night, you get um, 
the battery life, everything on here. And as you can see, this is, this is set up as the maximum resolution that the camera can utilize. And as you can see, it isn't what it says it should be really. It's not HD quality. This is definitely at least 20, um, 720p. Um, it's not even 1080 in my opinion, but you do get a good image to use, to utilize. You get all the information as you say, you can see it was like three degrees on the first one at 5 5.47 in the morning. Um, and you can plan and go, right, around half half five, if I want to take a photo of of a, um, a rabbit, um, I know I need to be outside, um, sort of sat up in the trap around about 5.15, and then sit and hide for, um, for half an hour, and I should be able to see the rabbit sort of hopping around. So it gives you that idea of what's going on and where animals are and you can then go from there and as I say if you wanted to go for a slightly better quality thing you'd need to invest in an actual track camera um, chassis for your camera and then you could utilize that better quality but for £35 and just finding the habits of an animal I think this is an absolute bargain to be honest with you this is stuff that unless you're waking up at five o'clock every morning and watching specific areas of your garden or wherever you put the cameras, camera up, you're never going to get this information. And it's going to be really useful for me, I think, if I want to, say, try and find different animals and what their habits are in our garden to then take photos of moving forward. So I'm definitely going to be utilising this moving forward and uh, going from there. So for me, it's a real good thumbs up. We'll talk about a bit more, though, in a second. So that's the footage that we've got from this camera here. Um, as I say, it claims to be 2.7 and then in the settings you can put it to 4K somehow, even though the box doesn't say it exports 4K, but you have that option in the settings. And you can see by the image quality, there's no way it's 4K. This is like 720p maybe. Don't even think, I wouldn't even class it as, 4K, um, as 1080p. Um, but it is good enough to say, and works well enough to pick up the movement of an animal. And you can change the sensitivities from low, medium and high. Um, the settings I've had it on are medium and you do get a couple of times where like the wind's blown a tree maybe too hard and it's kind of picked up a movement but I think it's a good um, a good middle ground for sure what I will say is, is to remember that you do need eight AA batteries ideally with this so there's a lot of batteries probably just buy some recharger ones on Amazon and a charger and that's probably the best way around it which I'm probably going to be doing setup wise is super easy super easy to put together, set up, turn on, leave and walk away. So for the money, I don't think you can really say it's a bad product. If you really want to get those fine detail 4K um, images and, and videos, at that point just you need to buy an enclosure for your DSLR or mirrorless camera and set up a proper one out in the garden. But for learning the habits of animals and, and getting insights like that, um, this is definitely for sure really well. It also does work really well at night. I haven't personally got any night footage. For some reason, the animals in my garden don't seem to come out at night, but a friend of mine has the exact same trap camera and has footages of foxes in, at night, and the images are absolutely acceptable. So definitely worth using. I think it's definitely worth the money if you just want to try out trap camera and see if it's actually something you want to do more of and to give it a go for 35 pound plus some batteries 100 percent worth it in my opinion so um if you want to do trap cameras and stuff like that get one of these give it a go so i'll put the link in the description down below if you use this trap camera or another one similar to it or you've been doing it for a while drop a comment see how um see what your opinions are your thoughts on the um item itself and let me know if you end up buying one and see what your your images are and let me send me a links to your images and your captures and it'll be always good to see those so i'll catch you in the next one uh, please subscribe comment and like as always and next time i've got a very big very literal big surprise as the video we're going to be doing so catch you then goodbye